Hello everyone, my name is William. Welcome to another tutorial. In this episode, I want us to talk about how to generate barcode in Laravel. And we will be using a PHP library called Pika Barcode Generator. So let's go ahead and see how we can be able to do this. This is a, a fresh install of Laravel 10. And I have been able to just modify welcome.blade.php. I have just pasted some HTML5 code and I've also included Bootstrap uh, CDN. But really, it will not be so much for it. So now, the next thing I want us to do is to install the package. So I'm going to open Terminal. And I just want us to go to the, the package uh, repository in GitHub. So I'm going to just search barcode generator php like that i think it will be able to give us as the first value so i'm going to open it and i'm going to scroll downwards to where we have the installation so i'm going to copy this and uh, paste in our terminal to install the package so i will hit enter and then pause the video temporarily for it to install our package is fully installed. So what I want to do, I'm going to just work with it inside the routes, uh, web.php, it's where I'm going to put my code. But obviously, if you're generating your code, maybe you might be able to use the controller or so, but this one is just a demonstration. And also, we, we are going to use the route that we have here. So this route for welcome. And what I'm going to do is to declare some product code. And this is just the code that you want to pass into our barcode. So, for example, you are having books in a library and you have assigned them the codes. So you want to have barcodes for each of these books. You can be able to pass the number for that book. So I'm going to just pass a value here and then I will now instantiate our generator, so generator, and in this case we are going to, I think I have a typo, generator, like that, we are going to have new, and then picker, barcode, barcode generator, barcode. And then obviously we can be able to pass whatever it is that we want here. If you look at the documentation, obviously you can be able to pass barcode generator HTML and that is what you are going to do. But obviously you can be able also to do other images. You can do SVG, PNG, JPG, especially when you want to save it first for you to be able to display afterwards. But since whatever it is that we are doing is directly uh, showing it to our um, blade file i'm just going to pass a here html like that and that we instantiate our barcode and then after that then i want us now to generate the barcode so i want to save it in a in a variable called barcode like that and i'm going to pass in here the generator that we have just instantiated above here and we can be able to pass in values so in this case we can uh, generate a get barcode and inside here we can be able to pass our product code whatever it is that you have generated here and then of course we can be able now to generate to pass in also the generator type so the generator and here we are going to put our type and remember for the types we have very many types of course, you can see all of them displayed here. Depends with your use case. But obviously, the major ones that are usually commonly used is type code 128 and type code 39. Those ones are the most common. So I'm just going to copy one of them. And that is what I'm going to paste here. Then I will close uh, that tag and maybe I can be able to just extend such that you are able to see clearly all the code that we have as it spans the entire of our page. Then after that, once we have generated it, then I want to return our barcode to our view. So in this case, I can just say with. Of course, you can be able to compact 
and return it in a different way but let's just do it like this so with i want us to pass in the product code which will which we will have the variable product code then i also want us to pass in the barcode so in this case i'm going also to pass in the barcode in this case we can say with and then barcode like that and then we will pass in our barcode so if everything is okay on this side then we are able to render our barcode to our view and what i want us to do is now to open uh, the the resources views welcome dot play dot php this one here and inside here i want us to just put a div and then of course we can be able to maybe i want it to have a class of um, offset three and column six to just maybe do a little bit of centering and i want us to have h1 maybe h3 tag and here i want us to pass in the product code which we have passed in from our route so in this case product code and then the next thing that I want us to do is to have the barcode. And this one, you can just display it like this. Because whatever it is that you're passing is HTML, you can be able to clean it like that. So barcode, like that. So let me save and then refresh our page. I'm already running our application on localhost 8000. So I'm going to visit localhost 8000 and click there. And now you can see we are having our barcode being displayed nicely and also the product code so obviously you can be able to get very many barcodes and you can also be able to save them because sometimes you might your use case might not be to display it like this maybe your use case you'll be to save and then retrieve it afterwards but basically this is what you can be able to do if you want to use this barcode of course uh, what i'm doing i have handled just a few things but even though, of course, whatever it is that you require is almost everything in terms of what this package does. But of course, you can see you can be able to pass in the type of barcode that you want. You can be able to pass in the height, the foreground color and so on and so forth. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share and comment. Thank you very much.